Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So the Elimination Chamber is officially over last night there. Um, didn't do a review late last night because I was sleeping, dog. I wasn't raging about Roman Reigns. Wasn't raging because the Smarks were complaining about Roman Reigns. I was out like a motherfucking baby. Why? Because the pay-per-view sucked fucking dick. That's why. Straight up out cold, man. Didn't see... I, I watched maybe... Maybe two minutes in total of the chamber, like... Oh, there's three, four guys. Oh, Roman. As soon as Roman Reigns came into the match, I fell asleep, woke up on my couch around midnight. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll talk to you about what I did see or whatever. I saw part of the women's chamber match. Wasn't really paying that much attention to it. Alexa Bliss retained. You know, I like Alexa Bliss or whatever. Too predictable. You know, like, I'm not even good at predictions. I don't usually put any effort in the predictions. I just do a video for the fuck of it, you know. And even I got all the predictions correct. You know what I mean? It was just way too fucking predictable. You know, it's not like she's going to lose just before Mania, you know what I mean? It was a complete pointless pay-per-view, straight up. Alexa Bliss wins. It was what it was, I guess. Honestly, I, you know, I tried to watch it, but I just couldn't give a fuck. Couldn't give enough of a fuck, you know? To pay full attention to it. Cesaro and Sheamus defeated Titus Worldwide again. Don't remember what I was doing. Might have seen 10 seconds of this match. It's like... It's obvious it's the same wrestling routine. The team wins on Raw. They get beat at the pay-per-view. Why should I watch this? It's not even interesting at all. <laughs> you know, why should I give a shit? Um, Matt Hardy defeated Bray Wyatt. I watched this match, you know. Hardy finally got a win against Bray Wyatt, but was I excited? Nope. Was it a good match? Not at all, folks. Very throw-away feel to it, the who-gives-a-shit type of feeling, you know. Um, Asuka and Nia Jax, during this match, I was starting to fall asleep, you know what I mean. Um, in and out, wake up, see a few seconds, boom, pass out. Um, I did see... How the match ended there, Nia Jax gets beat. She then attacks Asuka, passes her through the barricade or whatever. Um, and then the, the main event there, like I said, I was up awake enough, uh, you know, I watched some of the entrances, passed out. Woke up, there was three men in the cage or something. <laughs> Woke up, I see Roman Reigns gets in the cell after that. Like I said, I was out for about an hour and a half or two hours. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, honestly, I just, you know, Roman Reigns wins. You know, it is what it is. Too predictable. It's too predictable. It's not fun. You know what I mean? It's Roman Reigns. It's another John Cena. At least Cena, you had 
a reason to watch whether you wanted him to win or lose. You had something at least, you know. CM Punk, you had something, you know what I mean. Daniel Bryan, but now it's just fucking pointless. You know, I read the way it went down. Strowman eliminates five guys, gets beat with a cheap spear. This is boring. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's not like I gave a shit about any anybody else. It's not like I wanted Rollins to win or anybody else to win, but... You know, Roman Reigns winning, it's boring. We've seen it three, four years in a row. The fans don't care for the guy apart from a tiny minority on YouTube and Twitter. Most people just don't give a fuck about him because he's not interesting. It's not a thing that I'm a smart and I want Finn Balor... I don't give a flying fuck about the indies. The guy is just boring. You know, and these anti-smarks, they're being upset because people are complaining, you know. Um, you guys bash 90% of the roster, more like 99% of the roster, but you got a big hard on for Roman Reigns. You want to suck off Roman Reigns. You get very emotional when people criticize him. Let's call you what you are because it's not a thing that everybody else is a smart and you're a cool, hip, casual. We're all hardcore fans on the internet. It's not like we're just casually watching this there. Unlike the Smarks, no, we're all hardcore fans, or whatever. I can't even fucking sit through a goddamn show anymore, you know? Honestly, how long am I supposed to do this there? But that's a different topic there, you know? We're all hardcore fans. We just like and dislike different wrestlers. You guys hate everybody. But you get very emotional when people criticize your sexy Roman. Let's call you what you are there. You're not a cool, hip, casual. You're not an alpha male. You're not a, a cool, edgy, anti-smark. Y'all are Roman Reigns fanboys. It is what it is. You're a fanboy for Big Roman. <laughs> You want this cock up your ass, let's face it. You want him to win all the time. You can't handle if people aren't happy that Roman won. You guys are gay for Roman. You're not edgy, you're not tough. You're not cooler than, than a, a guy that likes Finn Balor. Okay? Being horny for Roman Reigns doesn't make you a badass. Just saying there. <laughs> okay? Just saying. Um, but, um, you know, it's boring. It is what it is. Roman wins again. Fuck, I couldn't even watch the show. Couldn't even stay awake, man. For the main event. <laughs> How long am I supposed to keep doing this? How long are we supposed to do this shit? You know what I mean? It is what it is. A thousand guys on YouTube plus McMahon are going to be happy that Roman won. And fans are going to continue to walk away from WWE. Because it's boring. There's nothing. There's nothing there really to be excited about anymore at all. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. You cool guy anti-smarks. Y'all can keep sucking Roman's dick. Unlike you, I don't get mad over a different opinion. I don't call people smarks over a different opinion. I don't claim to be an alpha male. 
you know, I, I think I would be an alpha male myself personally there, but I wouldn't go out of my way online to try to convince people that I'm an alpha male while crying because people don't like Roman. Face it, he sucks. He's boring. <laughs> okay, he's boring. If y'all have a hard on for him for whichever reason, you know, the smart busters told you you have to like Roman, I get it. <laughs> you know, but most people can't stand the guy because he's fucking boring. It is what it is there, but personally, I thought the whole fucking show was boring as hell. Very boring very cheap it's like what the fuck am i doing there i can't watch raw and nowadays i can't even stay up for a fucking pay-per-view you know what i mean how long am i supposed to keep torturing myself with this shit there i don't know people but after Wrestlemania, I, that just might be the end for me, you know what I mean? Um, Roman's gonna beat Brock, Brock might leave for UFC. What is there really to enjoy, you know what I mean? I'm not a fan of indie smart wrestlers. I don't care for Roman Reigns, I don't care about... 99% of these guys. How long am I supposed to keep doing this there? But it is what it is. I thought the chamber was super fucking boring there. I heard the last match was decent. Can't even stay up long enough to watch the goddamn match. So might be time to move along for me there i don't know it's 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 ridiculous it's no point anymore no fucking point at least we had shit to look forward to back in the day you know now it's mania season i can't even fucking watch it that's it's it's getting bad very fucking bad until next time peace